Do you want to see the, the third fight? Is that kind of the fight from both guys you want to see, or do you want to see them start facing other guys? I'd rather see them face other guys. I mean, uh, I saw them fight twice. It was two good fights, yes, but, um, you know, it's um, there's going to always be similarities to what happened the time before. You don't want kind of like a, kind of that rubber match, kind of, you know, just kind of historically everyone does well, the three the fights. Well, the thing is now, if... Triple G wins this time, then it's it. Now we're back to a tie. Do we have to do it again? Uh, I don't know. I guess Pacquiao fought four times once, right? I was going to say it. Good fights. Canelo versus Triple G, the third. Um, First, I guess, what's the likelihood you feel we're going to see that this year in September? And from both their last performances, who has the edge in that? Oof. I'm hoping, just like the rest of us, to be able to see that fight in 2019. Now, uh, the edge, I think we're going back to one and two. We've already had 24 rounds where we saw huge adjustments on Canelo, where we actually saw a fighter that had very little waist movement, and, and his bobbing and weaving in that second bout was extraordinary. But now we have another factor. We have Jonathan Banks in um, Triple G's corner. Uh, we saw interesting movements in this last fight. Was uh, somebody like Rolls uh, a good opponent? Uh, I don't know. Uh, the, w the one thing I need to know is, can he take a punch? Absolutely, Gennady can take a punch. Did, did Rolls bring in something that could be challenge uh, Gennady Golovkin? We saw that whatever Rolls brought, wasn't a challenge because he finished it off, but it was exactly what we expected of Gennady Golovkin. I mean, he did win 23 fights consecutively via knockout. So I think, it, it, if anything, it just brought him more confidence. Again, that, that mindset, that human factor is key. Your, your focus, your being able to just understand that every, you cannot be caught in, in a bad move with a bad punch and then stay there. You have to move to the next movement, ne to the next combination. If not, it, it's gonna catch up with you. Do you wanna see a third fight and, and how does the third fight play out? The question is not if I wanna see the, the, the third fight, uh, there should be, there should be a third fight. Why? Because of the contradiction. You know, all the contradiction has been said. You know, everybody's opinion is different. And of course, people wanna see uh, a different fight, you know, maybe on the third one, there's more of a definition at the end on the outcome, you know, that's what people want to see, people don't want to see close fights, people on the one don't want to see draws, they want to see a legitimate, a legitimate boxer win, you know, uh, convincingly, in other words, you know, and I just think that uh, they deserve to give the people, the fans, the third one, to make it more convincing. That's the best way to say it. Yeah, perfectly said. I thought yeah. so too. Guys, what are your thoughts on the whole thing? Well, I think uh, we've seen now uh, 24 rounds of those two guys. I think 24 rounds, which are difficult to to, 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 to judge. Many of them were very close. Uh, depending on how you look at them, could have gone either way. I think that's one thing we learned. Uh, the other thing we learned is that Canelo can't hit, can't hurt Golovkin, and Golovkin can't hurt Canelo. Uh, we learned that as well. Um, so I think, you know, to sum it up, uh, I don't think Canelo did enough to win. I don't think Triple G did enough to win. I think it was uh, as one judge it ha as one judge it had it, and most uh, ringside media had it. It was a draw, mm -hmm. and uh, I think if they're gonna do it again the third time, I perch I bought the first pay per view. I bought the second pay per view. Um, I think it was an excellent fight. It was an entertaining fight. Both of them, I think, were good fights. Both of them are extremely skillful fighters. Both of them are, in my opinion, top five pound for pound. So these are great, great fighters, great people as well. Um, and I respect them. But to be honest, uh, I don't really need to see it again. Because uh, a third fight, you're going to see the same again. I can tell you that right now. It's going to be, the next 12 are going to be the same like the first 24 and do I really need to spend 85 bucks for that again no like you said maybe if the rematch happens in a year or within a year whatever the case may be regardless Triple G is going to be even older um, what can he do with this new kind of tactic that Canelo is implementing what can he do to win the third fight well look I, 
I don't know if, if there's anything he could do, but uh, he is a very experienced fighter. He is an Olympian. He is a medalist. So maybe, maybe go back to to his old ways. You know of you know winning by points, scoring scoring combinations, and not just looking for that one punch knockout. Canelo took his punch. Canelo, Canelo seemed like has a great chin. So what don't go out looking for the knockout. Maybe maybe use a little more of, of footwork. And, and try to win a decision by scoring points and, and maybe maybe outboxing Canelo. You never know. You know, Triple G is an Olympian, so being an Olympian, he knows how to how to score points and how to win rounds. All this year that, that he's been that he's been a pro and especially knocking everybody out, that changed. Now he's the knockout artist. Now he's the Mexican star. Now he goes out there looking for, looking for the knockout every time he fights. But maybe maybe he should come back and 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 fight the way the way he used to in the amateurs. You know, fight smart, quick combinations in and out. And maybe he could pull off a decision. I'm, I'm not saying he will, but maybe that's what he needs. You know, sometimes fighters fighters are so used to fighting one way, and 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 the crowd loves it, so they keep fighting like that. But then you need a new trainer to get back what you used to do before. I'm not saying Abel's not able to do it. I'm not saying he needs a new trainer, but sometimes you do need that new voice to make that, that change and, and make and, and believe in, in that new trainer that's gonna make you do what you used to do and not just go out there and, 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 and look for that knockout. You are, you already got the recognition of being Mexican style, being, being, being pound for pound, the best 160, pounder in the world, whatever, because you're knocking everybody out. You have 20 knockouts in a row. Whatever it is, sometimes you got to change it. Sometimes you got to do something different. Has anything changed since with Triple G not being in camp or no, anything like no, that? No, is no, no. Yeah, that, that was done back then when it was done. You know? That's all. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, all of... it's water under the bridge. We go, we go with the next ones. You know. I was, I was just gonna ask. I, I saw someone oh, visited I, you, I, and I guess Triple G's still in Big Bear. Is that weird at all? I mean, do you guys see each other? I feel no, Big no, kind of a small no, place. No, we don't see each other. It, it's, it's not weird to me. Oh, I got a job to do, you know, and he's got a job to do. We're big boys. Uh, uh, what happened happened, and, and now we go on. Uh, he's got a fight coming up, a very important fight for him on the eighth. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes when we overlook somebody, we tend to look bad. Uh, he has to be in his, on his p's and q's and make sure he gets rid of this guy so he doesn't cause him problems. Uh, just lastly, man, uh, if Triple G were to fight Canelo a third time, I know you said you didn't see the Jacobs fight, um, but you know, with roles coming up and just kind of, you know, it'd be a, if September, maybe if not, stick with a mile next year. Uh, how does that play, fight play out? Do you think kind of? He beat him. He beat him twice already. In my opinion, he beat him twice already. So there's no reason why he can't beat him a third time. Uh, hopefully, uh, if he has anything to say about it, I would hope that he doesn't fight it in Vegas. Uh, unless it's just so lucrative for him that he can't turn it down. But uh, it seems that Canelo has uh, the advantage there. You know, So I would hope that if they do fight, that he fights him somewhere else. And, and he beats him. Uh, I think he beats him again just like the first two. Abel, pleasure talking to you as always, brother. Appreciate your time, Thank you. man. Thank you. Good to see you as always.